Tulsa County mowing crews sometimes expose what others hope to keep hidden. That discovery turned into a near disaster recently while workers were mowing near Sand Springs. We got bottles with hoses, we got Sudafed products. One of the mowers ran over what deputies believed was a meth lab and started a fire. It's extremely dangerous. Where this one caught fire and you can see all the grass and the trees and everything out here, it would have been a major fire in just a few minutes had the passerby or not stopped and, and got these guys' attention. Authorities say these meth dumps are popping up all over the county, and it's not just in rural areas either. Meth cooks are throwing the toxic leftovers right into people's yards, parks, and any place convenient to toss the evidence. Today's method, which uses a single container, is just as convenient to make. We found them in backpacks, people carrying around a backpack with it cooking inside the backpack that they're carrying around. So An undercover drug investigator with the Tulsa Police Department says fire is their biggest concern. It's a risk that's increased dramatically in the last few years. The city went from finding a few dozen meth labs in 2008 to more than 300 the following year. This year's numbers are expected to be just as high. Really the only thing left to do is, is how much you're going to limit people's access to pseudoephedrine. And as long as people want to easily be able to obtain pseudoephedrine, I don't know that the numbers will go down. Pseudoephedrine, which is found in some cold medicines like Sudafed, is a key ingredient in meth. This one-pot method requires less of it, which is how addicts are getting around a state law that limits purchases to nine grams a month. They'll send a few people into a pharmacy, and they'll buy their one or two boxes, plus, you know, some maybe candy and a birthday card and check out. Nobody thinks anything of that. Legislators recently quashed an effort to make pseudoephedrine prescription only, so the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics rolled out a program it hopes will stop fraudulent sales. The meth offender registry just went into effect November 1st. If you have a meth conviction, you will be prohibited for 10 years from possessing or buying pseudoephedrine. The Tulsa Police Department has also changed its approach. Officers are actively seeking people they believe are making meth. Each lab prevented could mean one less hazardous site to uncover. Krista Flash, 2 News works for you.